Addressing reporters in Juba Wednesday, and Ms. Boz Nicholas Aisom says South Sudanese should start preparing for the 2026 elections now. This latest extension should not make political leaders complacent. Instead, they must use the next four months until February 25, when the extended period commences, to set realistic targets and achieve them. Last month, South Sudan's transitional government of national unity announced an extension of the transitional period by another two years, thereby postponing elections until December 2026. Aisom says South Sudan's leaders have said they plan to achieve some of the key outstanding tasks that stood in the way of holding elections in December this year. Take decisions on voter registration now to enable the voter registration process to start next year. We want to launch the launch of voter registration. Complete phase one of the deployment of necessary unified forces devise an agreed code of conduct for political parties, civil society and the media that reflects the aspirations of South Sudanese. Abenigo Akuk, chairperson of South Sudan National Election Commission, says plans are in place for the country to hold elections in December 2026. Yeah, our timetable is to organize the state high election committees. They are, they are, now, they are now in their places and their offices and then their vehicles and so on. The budget is not yet passed. The budget is in the, before the parliament. It is time now for the election commission to start civil education, voter education. Akok says the National Election Commission has tabled a budget of $236 million before the Transitional National Legislative Assembly. He says once it is approved, his office will roll out elections activities. In speaking to VOA today, the spokesperson for the Transitional National Legislative Assembly, Oliver Benjamin Mori, says the budget for the National Election Commission will be passed anytime soon. The election is important as health, as education, or any other spending agencies. They are on equal footing. We are not working based on the pressure of the international community. We are working as a sovereign state of the Republic of South Sudan. South Sudanese Edris Akech says holding elections is the only way for South Sudan to achieve development. As a common citizen, so all we need is, uh, is uh, about the, the services that, eh, that community needs, like health, education, all this. And our hope is that after election, all these things will be there. That one need a uh, collective responsibility by the government and the international uh, agencies like the UN. The South Sudan's transitional government of national unity has said it has no funds to implement the 2018 peace deal and keep provisions for the conduct of elections. Aisom says South Sudanese leaders should demonstrate a real commitment to hold elections on time. For VOA News, I'm a young David Mayor in Juba.